Lowland Gorilla vs. Mountain Gorilla Who would win a fight between these two species of gorilla? The gorilla is the largest primate in the world. The discoveries that humans share 98.3% of our DNA with gorillas makes them our closest relatives after chimpanzees and bonobos. There are two species of gorilla, western and eastern, both with two subspecies. Western lowland gorilla and cross river gorilla are subspecies of western gorilla, while eastern lowland gorilla and mountain gorilla represent subspecies of the eastern gorilla. Today we will compare and see who will win a fight between the two subspecies of the eastern gorilla species. Grauer's gorilla, also known as the eastern lowland gorilla, is found only in the Democratic Republic of Congo. According to recent estimates, there are only approximately 5,000 of them left in the wild, making them an endangered species. These gorillas are vulnerable to poaching, and they fall victim to the results of civil unrest in their territory. There are only about a thousand mountain gorillas left in the wild, and half of them are found in the forests of Central Africa's Virunga Mountains. Mountain gorillas are a subspecies of eastern gorilla, Gorilla Beringue. As their name hints, they live in the mountains at elevations between 8,000 and 13,000 feet, 2,500 and 4,000 meters. Size and Description The largest of the four gorilla subspecies is the eastern lowland gorilla, also known as the Grauer's gorilla. Like the mountain gorilla, it has a jet black coat, but the hair on its head and body is shorter. The male's coat, like that of other gorillas, grays as the animal matures, resulting in the designation silverback. Compared to western lowland gorillas, the number of eastern lowland gorillas is significantly lower. Males are typically larger than females, and the species clocks in at about 450 to 500 pounds, 204 to 226 kilograms. These gorillas can be 5 to 6 feet tall, 1.5 to 1.82 meters. They have large heads in comparison to the rest of their bodies, as well as strong jaws and teeth. A long and thick fur coat, blue, black or brownish grey in colour, which provides insulation against colder temperatures, covers the mountain gorilla's body. Both adult males and females exhibit a bony crest at the top of their skulls. The female's crest is not as dramatic as that of her male counterpart, giving a conical shape to their large heads. The mountain gorilla's countenance is completed by a flat nose with wide nostrils that, like the facial skin above its mouth, remains free from the great apes encroaching her suitness. Its broad chest, hands and feet are also free of body hair. Fully grown male mountain gorillas can weigh up to 180 kilograms, 400 pounds. Females weigh half of that at about 90 kilograms, 200 pounds. Range and Habitat The Democratic Republic of the Congo's eastern region is home to the Grauer's gorilla, DRC. They thrive in the lowlands and jungles of the tropics. Over the past few decades, their range has drastically decreased. They used to inhabit a range of about 8,100 square miles, 21,000 square kilometers, but now they inhabit around 4,600 square miles, 12,000 square kilometers. Many national parks cover eastern lowland gorilla habitats, such as the Kahuzi Biega National Park and the Maiko National Park. There are also a few wildlife reserves dedicated to preserving gorilla habitats. More than half the population of our world's mountain gorillas reside high in the lush, dense cloud forests 
of the Virunga Mountains, a dormant volcanic range in Central Africa that spans the borders of Rwanda, Uganda, and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The remainder of this population lives 15 miles, 24 kilometers north in Buindi Impenetrable National Park, which encompasses southern Uganda and adjoining areas of the Congo. Habitat destruction and fragmentation have confined both populations of mountain gorillas to isolated patches of forest. With a home range consisting of several tropical vegetation zones, which include montane and bamboo forests, the aptly named mountain gorilla dwells at altitudes ranging from 7,200 to 14,000 feet, 2,200 to 4,300 meters in Virunga, and 4,921 to 7,550 feet 1,500 to 2,300 meters in Buindi. Food Habits Eastern lowland gorillas are omnivores, enjoying both a plant-based and an insect-based diet. However, they also eat berries, leaves and nuts in addition to fruits. The eastern lowland gorilla prefers termites and ants above other insects. These gorillas occasionally hunt for tiny rodents or lizards. In search of food, they have been known to travel great distances. They can eat fibrous and tough vegetation thanks to their strong jaws. Additionally, they hardly ever directly drink water because most of the water they take in comes from the plants they eat. About 18 kilograms or 40 pounds of food must be consumed daily by adult gorillas. Mountain gorillas eat a mostly vegetarian diet that consists of leaves, stems, bark, shoots, roots, flowers and fruit. Less than 1% of its diet comes from insects. Adult males consume up to 75 pounds, 34 kilograms a day. Elevation varies the type of vegetation that the two subspecies eat. Weather is another influencer on mountain gorillas' diet. During the rainy season, Virunga gorillas frequent bamboo forests where they are able to find young shoots to snack on. Gorillas get their daily water requirement through the plants they eat. Behavior Gorillas are social animals, and the eastern lowland gorilla is no exception. The distribution of gorillas is in tight-knit family groups called troops or bands. Together, these troops move, eat, and raise their young. A huge male gorilla known as the silverback commands the troops. They may also include a few subordinate male gorillas, in addition to two or three female gorillas and their young. Although the troops are often small, scientists have found groupings of up to 30 members. Two silverback leaders in a group are uncommon. Contrary to popular belief, gorillas spend the most of their time eating and are not territorial or aggressive animals. Mountain gorillas are tremendously social and live in groups of 2 to 40 led by the silverback, a dominant male that is the chief leader and protector. The majority of males leave their biological groups around 11 years old. Some move alone and others travel with other males for a few years until they attract females to join them. The female usually gives birth when she turns 10 and has offspring every four or more years. Now it's time for the fight, so let's find out who would win between a lowland gorilla and a mountain gorilla. Given that they have a very similar appearance, the differences between mountain and eastern lowland gorillas are interesting. Remember that they are all members of the eastern gorilla subspecies. Mountain gorillas live in regions that are thought to be at higher altitudes than Grauer's gorillas typically do. 
It is important to point out that eastern lowland gorillas are generally large in size compared to mountain gorillas. The arms and jaws of mountain gorillas are shorter. However, compared to mountain gorillas, eastern lowland gorillas have smaller noses and shorter teeth. Mountain gorillas have longer and thicker coats compared to eastern lowland gorillas. Adult male eastern lowland gorillas can reach 500 pounds, while a male mountain gorilla on average reaches 400 pounds. The western lowland gorilla is a calm, non-aggressive creature that won't attack unless challenged. Competition for the leader of the troop and the chance to mate with females generally leads to fights inside the group. Despite being a timid and gentle species, mountain gorilla females frequently build close bonds with the group's males in order to secure protection from predators and prevent infanticide. The strongest and most dominating silverback in both gorilla subspecies serves as the group's leader. There may be more than one silverback in a group of mountain gorillas. In my opinion, due to the fact that the lowland gorillas are bigger and also may be more aggressive towards other males, compared to the mountain gorillas, they have a 65% chance to win, compared to 35% in favor of the mountain gorilla. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.